Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointed Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra has been sharing an illuminating series titled The Baptism of the Holy Ghost. The subtitle for today is Operating Spiritual Gifts. Today, he shares why we must operate in these gifts. Let's join in. First Corinthians 12, verse 1, it has key scripture. I've been saying on the Holy Spirit baptism. And uh, I'm sharing on that because I believe that as a Christian, sometimes you can be so used to God that before you realize the church is filled with people who are not baptized in the Holy Spirit and also with people who know nothing about spiritual gifts or exercise spiritual gifts. Now, why should we be baptized in the Holy Ghost? Very simple. To tap into the power of God. And what is the evidence? The evidence is speaking in tongues. So I said, after we have been baptized with the Holy Ghost, now we need the appliances. And these appliances are the gifts of the Spirit. The power of the Holy Ghost runs through the gifts of the Spirit. And the gifts of the Spirit manifest the power of God to us. Otherwise, we would not know. Peter was a professional fisherman with a feeling business. In Luke chapter 5, verse 5, he said to Jesus, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. You can work and work and take nothing. His business was failing. Why was he failing? He didn't know where the fishes were. That was his problem. He said, we have toiled all night. Remember, there's a lot of fish in the sea. But Peter reports that the fish are finished. When he told Jesus, Jesus said, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a draft. So Jesus said, I will show you where they are. That's wisdom. He knows where they are. When they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net broke. Supernatural wisdom. Verse 8 says, when Simon Peter saw this, he fell down on Jesus' feet. He said, depart from me, O Lord, for I am a sinful man. May God give you some money that will make you afraid. <laughs> if this fisherman who was a businessman called Peter had word of wisdom, his business would be different. This is just an example. That is why all of us must operate in spiritual gifts. Otherwise, you will consult malams and the occult because you will not have any option. First Corinthians chapter 12 gives a warning. In verse 1 it says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you to be ignorant. Verse 2, you know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Paul said, the danger of not using spiritual gifts is idolatry. People will begin to consult other things. One story I'll never forget this guy. The wife was in our church. And the wife said to me, pray for my husband. My husband is dying. So I said to pray. When I started praying, I said to the man, the Holy Ghost says there are three gods under your bed. And if we don't destroy them, he cannot heal you. So I went for the first one. I prayed. I took it out. I destroyed it. I went for the second one. I prayed. I took it out. I destroyed it. I came for the third one, the smallest one. The man said, don't touch it. I said, why? He said, this thing has been protecting me all my life. But the guy was a church goer. So he told me, pastor, this one, you have to leave it. Then I said to him, if I leave it, you will die. Then he said, then let me die. What was his problem? What Paul was saying? concerning spiritual gifts, I will not have you to be ignorant. Otherwise, you will be Gentiles who will be carried away to dumb idols because 
Even when you are baptized with the Holy Ghost, minus spiritual gifts, we cannot manifest the power of God. Exactly what he was saying. So it's important and it's crucial that we do that. You need it. So these gifts, I believe that all of us as Christians, we should intentionally begin to use them so that we can have supernatural results. Otherwise, you will say, oh, I've been a Christian, I've not seen anything. Nothing is happening. It's because maybe you have failed to use the tools and the gift and the equipment that God has given to us. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that we must operate in spiritual gifts because if we don't, we will resort to idolatry or the occult. Tune in again tomorrow as this exciting message continues. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. This one says I passed my exam. It said, Pastor, I asked you to pray for me concerning an exam I had been feeling. And uh, you prayed for me that Jesus will help me. Indeed, I received the help of God. I passed all my exams this time to the glory of God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakrabaden, Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an ebook on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide.